I have been teaching about how the Great Pyramid was built for probably 35 years. We all, all of us Egyptologists teach the same story. There are two theories about how they got the blocks up to the top. Right? How do you raise a two and a half ton block 448 feet high? One theory is the external ramp. You build a ramp on a side of the pyramid, one side, and you haul the blocks up the ramp, sort of like in the movies, the Cecil B. DeMille Mill theory, right? The problem with that theory, and we all know there's a problem with it, is that to build a ramp to the top of a 480-foot pyramid, the ramp would have to be a mile long. And it would be about equal in volume to the Great Pyramid itself. You'd almost be building two pyramids, not one. And you just can't do that in 20 years. Not only that, this ramp is such a huge construction thing, where is it? No one's ever found the remains of a ramp like this. And you can't truck away 200 million tons. So, the ramp theory really doesn't work. And we all knew it. The other possibility is that there is no external ramp. That the blocks were brought up to the top of the pyramid on a corkscrew ramp. A ramp corkscrewing around the pyramid, pretty much like a, in a parking garage, you have the little road that you're driving around. But there's a problem with that too. I mean, it does away with the problem of where's the ramp. The pyramid was the ramp. It does away with the problem of the extra work. You know, you're not building two pyramids. But all the construction experts in ancient, on ancient Egypt buildings say the same thing. Can't be done that way either. Why? As you're building the pyramid, you have to take sightings all along the corners to make sure it's precise as it's going up. And if you have an open ramp on the outside, you don't have sight lines. You need perfect edges all the way up, and you don't have that with a corkscrew ramp. So everybody agrees the corkscrew ramp wouldn't work. So we have two theories that we've always been teaching, the external ramp and the corkscrew ramp, and neither one of them could be correct, but the, they're the best theories we had. Enter my other architect, Jean-Pierre Houdin. And he had a new theory of how the pyramid was built. Now, I receive emails from people all the time who have a new theory about how the pyramid was built. They are almost always retired engineers, <laughs> and they're almost always really wrong. And he, he's going through his usual stick. He says, you know, you can't build it with a single ramp. Yes, Jean-Pierre. You know, you can't build it with the culture. Yes, Jean-Pierre. And then he sort of springs his theory. He says it was built with a ramp, all right. But the ramp was inside the pyramid, hidden, waiting for 4,500 years to be discovered. <laughs>